stand there. Basically, they would bring one person in after the other. And I remember James Spader coming in and smoking a cigarette, which is so <laughs> impossible to even think about anybody doing that now. Uh, but even then, to, to do that was a little risky. Uh, and he was, he was just so obnoxious, but he was completely in character because he's actually a lovely person, very nice and not at all like the character that he plays. But he just had this, this real sneer about him, you know, and the, and the smoke and blowing of the smoke. And I think he even dropped the cigarette on the floor and, and you know, stamped it out and just left. It just was so believable that even I, you know, I was casting the movie and I went, I hate this guy, you know, and I, I, I wasn't able to translate that into, but that's good for the movie because he was so despicable. And that's where John and I uh, separated because John was able to have the experience of knowing, well, that only means it's better for the picture. Spader, I introduced myself and I said I, I was a fan of his because he had done a lot of teen movies where he was just a total jerk. And I was like, and he was a great villain, you know. And he said, yeah, I figure I got a lock on this teenage asshole thing. <laughs> and I, I mean, some of my, my favorite moments in the movie are, are Jimmy Spader. You know, when he, after a fight, he spits on the floor of the, of the school. It's like, oh, oh, you're awful, you know. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Blaine. There was one night, I, I don't know why, I remember just a, a big party scene. Scene where I go up and James Spader is up sitting on the bed. He does some gesture. He kind of goes, <laughs> this really crude gesture that I just thought was brilliant. I loved when Spader confronts uh, Molly. Well, how come you won't go out with me? You know, and he's just so slimy and does that, you're a bitch. <laughs> You're a bitch. Which on TNT is like, you're a witch, <laughs> which just doesn't work as well as you're a bitch. I mean, it makes him sound really gay. You know, I think you ought to see a doctor because that condition of yours can get a lot worse. People say that Jimmy does this whole slimy thing. Well, I, I, I guess he does. <laughs> he has a certain glee about him that I think is what makes it so funny. He just says this twinkle that he, and he's sort of back a little bit. And in real life, he's not like that at all. Of course, he's like a family man, you know, with a, drives a Volvo, you know. <laughs> and he brought a richness and deep knowing of that character. And I mean, could he have been more beautiful or sexy? Oh, please. I mean, you love this guy who walks around high school, you know, in a white linen suit and smokes cigarettes in the hall. Jesus, he's fabulous. You're going to be late, buddy. <laughs>